what's up guys how's it going welcome back to another unboxing showcase review i am doing another bampresto statue to take a look at this is with the bampresto version of their iew line uh this is from one piece this is lady nefeltari uh, another character from the one piece anime this is the version as you can see right here this is the one in her wedding dress uh, versus the one that you can get in the blue dress that you just saw scrolling by on the on the rotating base. I wanted to pick this one up nah, just because it was actually a very good deal and I don't have Nefeltari as a character and this is one of the nicer um, statues that I would have liked to have in my collection and now that I got it I am very happy with it. So I am gonna we're gonna take a look at this um, open it up see what's going on the difference with this one is is i did not buy this new i bought this used so this was once a part of someone else's collection and is now part of my collection so i am going to take a look and see what we got going on inside the box so typically inside of the box you will get like a cardboard insert um, as well as it wrapped up in plastic so considering i bought this used i'm sure it's different um, he did uh, have bubble wrap bubble wrap and some paper to support it on the inside so hopefully nothing else is too much of an issue but we'll take a look and see and find out all the differences in here now sorry about that but you will know of course with Van Presto statues there can be some assembly required when building putting together the statues because they could be bigger than what they are inside the box but let's take a look there's these packages right here we'll open them up and we will get it situated right, guys it has three pieces to put together we have the entire body all from head to neck of course uh, we have a stand for her to make sure that she stays level and then we have her head with very, very long flowing hair that probably wraps around the side of the body. So let's take a look and see what we got. Uh, this is unbelievable. Look at this wedding dress that actually has a clear plastic transition towards the bottom. That is amazing. I like that a lot. It's very, very nice. Uh, there are some like plastic blemishes right here. Like it's the, like, glue or something that occurred um probably also with dust that had occurred as well um being displayed at some point uh you can see the stress lines of a dress they're all over the place just this free-flowing moving dress um as it's sculpted looks extremely extremely well done um including her hand that's holding holding the dress up to have that flowing movement down here, which is very, very nice. There's a white bow on the front of her dress. And as you can see around the, the mid and chest area, all these intricate, intricate details that show of a wedding dress. It's very, very nice. Even the gloves, you got these sleeve gloves right there. And there's a lot of stress lines from the material as well. Very nicely sculpted. Very well done. We have her skin tone. Skin tone all in one color. There's really no other um, shades of like a, to help bring out some definition, but it's sculpted nicely. So it's, so it looks good. Uh, and then of course the neck has the neck peg to, uh, for the head to be inserted onto. Uh, legs, same thing, color, all the same. Uh, so it's very nicely uh, painted. And we got the shoes going on. The shoes are all actually sculpted on there as well. So there is some um, transition um, or definition that is to be shown right there on the heels too. So very, very nice. Very, very nice. I love it. Love these uh, Ben Presto statues. So stand, of course, simple white stand. Um, very good use to use a white one. So that actually helps. And of course, places where you're going to insert the feet um, or the shoes right there. Uh, the head head sculpt and head paint or the tampo very well done as well looks great i don't really see any misalignment in any way um but it looks it, it looks great 
we got paint that's sculpted onto the ear. So the, luckily there's some white paint um, for the earrings. It helps out, but you can, if you get close enough, you'll see that it's kind of like splotched a bit. So it, that's okay. It's, it's very small, it's very minor, but I don't mind it. Hair, all one color. I don't see any black to help um, bring some of it out, but it's anime. It's not, it's, it's still good. Uh, there is the some loose parts of the hair, which makes it so uh, okay, you can see a seam line right there, but it doesn't seem too bad. So it actually works out nicely. We've got some loose ends of her hair right here in front of the face, but overall looks great. We've got the bell, the, the peg hole for the head. As you can see, it's a particular shape, so you know where to insert it into the neck. But let's put this on and then we'll stand her up onto the stand and then do some heights and comparisons and from what i see yep do i have it on right yep there you go you can see the shapes of it there you go so we're gonna, that's a very snug and tight fit so you want to make sure you press hard enough but not too hard where you feel like you might bend or break it and just check to make sure you can see in the neckline there's no issue or gap that is truly noticeable. And we will insert our feet. I am, I don't know, uh, you know, it's just awkward because you got to insert them both at the same time. So you got to make sure it's leveled correctly. And right there and right there. Okay, so little gap, but not a lot. But I have it on there so that way it's sturdy enough. And there you go. We got her standing. All right. Let's take a look. All right, guys. There you have her. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful uh, statue overall. This looks great. Look at the hair flow. Just outgoing, especially with the dress happening. This is wonderful. I am glad I picked this statue up. This is great. And I'm sure with the blue dress, it looks just as great. But for some reason with this wedding dress, I think it looks phenomenal. This is a beautiful, well done statue. Love how it's posed. She's got her neck tilted to show some emotion right there. Shoulder, hand to her shoulder, hand holding the dress and the dress is flowing. This is very, very well done. Very nice. So. Let's take a look at how tall she is. And then we'll do some comparisons with some other One Piece characters that I have. Um, for this particular one, she stands right about uh, nine and a quarter, nine, nine and a half inches. So nice height, very, very nice height. Uh, in comparison, I think the Glitter and Glamour's line would be a better comparison in terms of scale. So my last review was of Jewelry Bonnie, which is right here. There's Jewelry Bonnie. So she is, she's definitely taller. Um, I'm pretty sure they could be the same height, but then again, I can't remember if she was taller or not. Uh, and of course we have another glitter and glamours of Boa Hancock, who was taller there. So. This IEW series, I think, is a smaller scale. Uh, I believe she could be part of like the one one eighth scale, and these guys might be one seventh scale. That's a possibility. That's what I'm thinking. So, uh, even so, within this realm of the scale, I'm perfectly fine with them having in my collection because they're all around the same. The same height they're all between like eight to ten inches tall now versus uh my other one piece statues the grandista line grandista line is going to be <laughs> much much taller as you can see there is nami right there incredibly high even trafalgar look at that that is huge so uh it'll work it, it, it can work in my collection i think it's going to um, considering most of the females from from what I have outside of Nami is all like glitter and glamours and and uh, this now IEW, but let's put her on the rotating base and finish this review up. 
all right guys there you have it there she is this is nefeltari glad to have her added to my one piece uh statue collection i hope you guys enjoyed what you saw in regards to the ben presto lines that i've been doing all these unboxing showcases i'm definitely enjoying them these are some amazing looking anime character character stylized figures for my collection i hope you um enjoyed it and i hope you are if you're in anime i hope you collect some of these statues as well because these are amazing these are very very well done um but if you do let me know what you guys collect i would love to hear from you so make sure you hit that like comment subscribe almost at 4,000 subscribers so please help me in doing so and trying to reach that goal i would greatly appreciate it but thank you guys so much for watching I hope to see you soon, and I hope to see you on the next hunt.